One of my favorite things about doing this as a job is that I get to experiment with a ton of different games and I get to try them out and then share them with you. And today is one such day where I get to look at a game that is iconic and very well known, but that has a massive new expansion that just came out that is exciting a lot of people. Of course, I'm talking about Warframe and the new Daviri Paradox expansion that just launched. Now, I actually used to play a little bit of Warframe back in the day in like college with some of my roommates. I haven't really touched it since because we've been so busy with like single player narrative games and stuff while building this channel. I also like worked in real estate for a while, so I didn't have a lot of time to play like MMOs and stuff, but this is a great opportunity to return to it and see just what's changed. And so when the guys over at Digital Extremes, the developers of Warframe reached out and offered to sponsor this video, I was like, heck yeah, as long as I'm allowed to say whatever I think. And they agreed, which to me shows a lot of confidence in their product. I don't do any of these videos unless I'm allowed to say the positive and the negative, explain what I love and what I don't love, and they were more than willing to accommodate that request, which to me gets me quite intrigued because if they're that confident that I'm gonna love it, maybe I will. So join me today as we experiment with this new expansion and see just what Warframe is up to. And if you wanna play along with me, check out the promo code in the description or pinned comment down below. And if you use that code in the game or on warframe.com, you can get a seven day resource booster, a seven day affinity booster, and a super cool poster. And before anybody tries to get sneaky, you can only use the promo code once, okay? I'm watching you. Now, one of the things with the Daviri Paradox expansion is that they're trying to make the game much more accessible to players who are new or returning after a long hiatus. I myself played this a little bit back in the day, but I'm not too familiar with it anymore. And they wanted to make sure that new players were just as welcome as the guys who have been playing since 2013. So once you boot up with a new account, you'll be greeted with Warframe Path or the Paradox Path. If we want to get straight into the expansion, we can just click on this and we'll go straight into the new stuff. Begin again. And here we go. I will say, I remember Warframe looking pretty good back in the day. Now it looks outrageous. <laughs> like I'm actually pretty impressed. It's one of those examples of a super, super optimized uh, MMO game. Like it's just very, very well built, very well optimized. I mean, after all, they're running this thing on the Nintendo Switch. You can play this on your Switch if you want to. It's absolute madness. And I gotta love this kind of creepy art design. I ask you once more, how many times will one fool die? More. I feel personally attacked. <laughs> I'm that How fool. much will one proud human soul suffer? Before oh, so it's like a dream realm. To the greatness of their eternal king. Citizens of Duvir. It is a well-known fact to each and every one of us, yes, that the unbent I love the beer belly. Must be broken. Ooh. Dude, I, I some people are like, oh, I don't know about cinematics. I don't know. It looks like Petro Pascal. I, I get all that, but man, I I love me a good cinematic cutscene or trailer before like i i just personally like it is that pedro that looks like freaking pedro pascal like very very close That was pretty fire. I have a feeling we're gonna be fighting one of those. Call it an intuition. <laughs> no, my space snake. It's okay. Take my hand. Thank you. Okay, Never get that feeling. You're stuck. That's that's pretty badass. I'll Keep give him spinning. that. 
<laughs> That's pretty badass. And now we're in game. Locked at 144 FPS at 4K. Ooh, baby, that feels good. So you can hear them talking about trying to begin again, restarting again, try it again, looping time cycles, all of this. That's because this expansion introduces a handful of new things to the Warframe formula that are definitely a shakeup, but are pretty interesting. Basically, they introduced a new roguelike time looping system, which allows you to go through certain areas multiple times. And every time you go through a new loop or spiral, whatever you want to call it, you'll actually get a different loadout. You get to try a bunch of different things. So it really shakes up the Warframe formula into something that's very different. Okay, this works for me. This works for me. And just like that, the expansion is over. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks. I'm kidding. Okay, let's let's do it. Okay, and then it begins again. Get it? The loop. It's looping. <sighs> Even better. Death by the meteor. Oh, that's trippy. <laughs> that's that's freaky. That's got to be a phobia for some people, right? That's got to be. And now we're in it. So the one thing I remember about Warframe especially is just how great the movement always was. It was always incredibly fluid. Like, to a ridiculous extent. Really, really good. So I'm dealing zero damage to these guys, which makes me think that I'm, uh, I'm screwed. I'm guessing I just need to run. I don't think I'm gonna take these guys down with my little pistol. Run away! Okay, run, run, run. Here we go. Ooh! You guys know me, I love big set pieces. That is my bread and butter. And so I'm kind of digging this. The art style used here is also fascinating to me because it has these black and white elements, but then it shifts to color every once in a while, sort of dynamically. I'm not sure yet what causes the color to be reintroduced, but it's really fascinating to me. It reminds me sort of like um, the saboteur back in, I think that was 2010, maybe 2011. And that was just fascinating because it was like, it was this really interesting overworld. And then as you cleared areas, they would get color reintroduced to them. It was really, really fascinating. And this is something like that. And it's just very unique. I'm not used to it, but I like it. The other thing that's striking me is just the fluidity of, of movement and the cloth physics are getting me like, Swagalicious. I don't know what else to say. I just like so many games nowadays have given up on little details like that, and it's infuriating. Like even Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Valhalla didn't have actual cloth physics. They did this weird like anchor point thing, I guess, to save resources so that they could make the gameplay something else I, I don't even know but it's so weird that so many companies are sacrificing those little details when i love it i mean this just looks badass i mean come on especially did i mention that this is free to play like you can just download this now the expansion you can start without putting any money up you can just start playing this without any upfront cost like, it's crazy to me the quality of free-to-play games nowadays it's absolutely wild it's supported through cosmetic microtransactions and that type of thing which i'm totally fine with as long as the game itself is really good i mean go for it you gotta pay the bills somehow one of the other things i'll say is as somebody who's not like very familiar at all with warframe lore or any of that stuff they are doing a good job of making this sequence 
relatively interesting and this is much different than what you would normally see in warframe but in a way that's probably good because it's just shaking it up it's something different <laughs> nice okay again i love the big set piece stuff and so this is like <laughs> this is my bread and butter dude i love this kind of thing just everything's massive everything's crazy it's exactly what I what I enjoy in these like beautiful big games. I, I just oh man, I love it. Now here we're being introduced to the core area where pretty much every single one of these cycles or spirals is going to begin. Where we're going to be picking which uh sorts of tools and things we want to use for that run. Some sort of fever dream, you're right, dude. It's got a cute little bunny. Look at that. Drifter intrinsics so here we've got writing tap one to summon your kite um okay invest 20 intrinsics get one rank one in writing okay and then here you see we have different combat intrinsics we've got opportunity endurance and to be specific what these intrinsics allow you to do is to add all sorts of different perks and abilities to your drifter or warframe there are four different categories combat riding opportunity and endurance and these can be upgraded using these intrinsic points that you'll unlock while playing the expansion this allows you to further customize your character as you play through the expansion in a way that fits your play style they've also added a decree system which follows in line with the roguelike comparison i made earlier meaning that every single cycle you go through within the expansion is going to be free fresh and different because you're always going to be changing out these decrees so you have different abilities with each run and I gotta hand it to them this really does increase the variability and variety of gameplay encounters I was pleasantly surprised when one combat encounter though initially seemingly quite repetitive actually felt significantly different because I was using a different loadout of decrees that changed how I approached the encounter and that's one of the strengths of Warframe is that there's a ton ton of variability in your builds so much so that some people are even able to build out their warframe characters to the point where you can like one shot bosses um which is kind of crazy but they allow you to do that and build it out see look at that how cool is that you're gonna tell me you don't like big set piece stuff come on it's badass little combat tutorial love it oh and we can fly too that's awesome <laughs> of course we can uh, I love it. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is pretty epic, dude. I'll be real. I suspect your hand may offer a way to control them as they did. Choose. Okay. Now we choose which we want. We've got three different broad options. Excalibur, Mag, or Volt. Each having different abilities, key things that you like. Excalibur epitomizes the warrior spirit his master swordsmanship deals high damage he is the embodiment of martial excellence the mag take down your enemies with magnetic force mag alters magnetic fields to provide crowd control and strip enemy defenses and volt electricity flows through volt his attacks deal high damage enemies will be shocked um this one seems fun i played volt back most recently, if I recall correctly, I think. So I'm going to go Volt. And now we get a movement tutorial in case you didn't play the game back in the day. You're not familiar. You can get acclimated this way. And then here we can select weapons. Fast revolvers equipped in each hand. Two through the enemy with this vicious automatic hand shotgun. Ooh. Or powerful accurate pistol that is low fire rate magazine faster to very efficient at long range. I kind of like that. Let's try this. Ooh, baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, secondary bolter, slow heavy bolts that are capable of impaling enemies to walls. Double barrel shotgun fires two bursts, rapid succession, he's then taking down the toughest prey. Uh, probably shotgun, I think, is the way to go. Oh, yeah, love it. Oh, dude, I missed this. It's just so silky smooth, you know? feels good and now we get introduced to how this is functionally going to work so once we've got our warframe selected we can select our different loadouts that we might want to use primary weapons secondary weapons so once we're kitted up we are then good to go so i'm going to select 
my little tidbits. We can also go in and change the look of some of these things. You can see you can swap out tails. You can do whatever you want to, to customize the look if you want. Okay. And then let's also go in here. I'm going to, I'm going to do this because this guy just looks badass. So we'll do that. And I mean, if we're going to ride around in like a mythical dream realm, we might as well have them looking kind of cool, right? And then you can see you can customize all sorts of different colors however you want. Uh, so you can really tweak it to exactly how you like it, which is, I mean, isn't that just kind of the point at the end of the day? Make it, make it the way you want. I mean, I gotta give him credit where it's due. This is like pretty freaking epic. The fact that this is like a free to play expansion to a free to play game, it's just like blowing my mind a little bit. Like this is ridiculous. Crazy high production value. It's wild. Oh, should we fight? Should we get jiggy with it? Okay, then I just got a decree and these are basically like perks in a lot of games. So we have an option for persistent attrition. The target becomes 10% more vulnerable to damage with each shot. Sweeping blow, melee attacks create a shock wave that deals 60% damage and tumbling frost, drop a frost explosive when you roll. The explosion deals 50 cold damage to nearby enemies and applies to cold stacks. Explosion radius doubles for Warframes. This seems like it could be super powerful, especially if you're rolling a lot. The sweeping attacks could also, all of, honestly, all of these seem like they could be really, really good. I'm going to go with Tumbling Frost, though. I think that this could be really, really useful. Now, like I said, this is an expansion. There's a lot of story content, and then there's also a lot of dynamic content, and it's also built to be partially played with friends if you want to, or entirely played with friends in co-op, because once again, it's a free-to-play multiplayer game, so why not get your friends in on it? So for the rest of the afternoon, I'm going to be playing through this. I'll see you on the other side. Okay. I just finished the story section of the expansion. Pretty good. Pretty good. A little bit repetitive. I'll give them that. A little bit repetitive. You do typical Warframe stuff. You're fighting waves of enemies. But the cool, like, time loop mechanic actually surprisingly keeps things pretty fresh because you're constantly swapping things out, trying different things, shaking it up, uh, different gameplay mechanics. I mean, you can see here in this footage on screen that there's just a ton of crazy movement involved in this, waves and waves of enemies, and it actually starts to get a little difficult towards the end, which is uh, pretty wacky. It's actually pretty impressive. I've had a very good time this afternoon playing it. Not crazy long, anywhere from like two to three hours to get through the story section, but highly replayable too. And now that we finished the story mode of the expansion, we can actually just load right back into regular Warframe if we want, which allows us to do any sort of customizations we want to do. If you want to come down here, swap out skins using the marketplace that they have, you can do that. And this is where a lot of people really like really get into Warframe. They freaking love the heavy customizations that can be done. And again, with the promo code in the description box below, there's all sorts of boosts that you get. Like I said, this one that I just put on using my own code like five, six hours ago, I get all of these boosts for the rest of the week as I continue to play, which is awesome. And of course you can play the game absolutely for free. There's no need to pay for anything. All of these credits can be acquired by just playing the game itself. And so you can grind your way to this through gameplay. Uh, it's here if you want to engage with it. This is what I call my watermelon sugar high skin. Like that, like that, very watermelon-y. <laughs> oh, this one's fine. I didn't even notice the, the bulge. There's like a, a giga bolt <laughs> there. Oh wow! Didn't didn't see that coming. I mean, that's that's good. It just really stood out with that other skin. I mean, oh, that's actually that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'll keep that. And then boom, you get to play through those missions with these skins. It's pretty baller. And while it's not necessary, like you don't need it, it is just kind of nice to have a really like fancy skin. I don't know. I I kind of get the skin thing. I don't tend to go too crazy for them, but good cosmetics that have like high effort and actually look pretty badass, I can get down with. Or if you're a simpleton and you just like to keep stuff like super, super minimalistic, you can also just use the basic skins. No need to go too fancy. Just keep it right where you started. That is absolutely fine. 
and uh, you can have a good time with that. And okay, now that we've finished the story mode of the expansion, assuming this is a brand new save file that you've never used before, you're just trying the game out for the first time, you're gonna complete a brief tutorial to get you acclimated to the base game. And then from there, you can continue playing either the expansion, which I'm gonna show you more of in just a second, or you can actually go in and just start playing through regular Warframe, going through the solar system as you see fit, completing various missions and playing the game as you normally would with friends or by yourself. Or again, if you wanna go into the expansion, you can just hit here. And here we have the three options that I'll explain to you now. We have the circuit mode, which allows you to stay in the Warframe throughout the entire experience. So you're never actually pulling out of it to do story segments or anything like that. We have the Daviri experience, which is the way it's intended to be played, where you have the story and side content all wrapped up into one, or the lone story, which is basically what we just did by my understanding, which is the story where you're just blasting through it and staying super focused on that. And if we wanna load into the way it's meant to be played, we just hit the button. It loads us in with some other match made players and we're we're good to go and just like that we are in playing with other players and if you wanted to play this with friends you could do that too but this is how it works we're going to select our warframe however we uh choose to go i'm going to choose the vault and then we're going to go over and choose weapons again these are generated for each spiral that we do so in this case this is what we've got it can change the next time you play. This is where those roguelike systems come into play. Standard issue rifle, uh, bizarre corpus technology, fist by automatic rifle can deploy your rated air. But I mean, that sounds fun. Let's do that. And just like this, we are in the game playing through similar missions that we did during the story mode, but now you can do it with friends as you see fit. And again, each time that we complete one of these, we're going to unlock the ability to put on some decrees. And these things start to get really, really elaborate, especially as you play with friends. Things will start to get really chaotic and really, really dynamic as well, which is always what you want. And listen, I think the most important element of this expansion it's not just that like it's big set pieces it's meant to be epic and just kind of crazy but more than anything it's meant to introduce hopefully a new generation of players to the warframe universe to get them acclimated to a game that has a ton of content some insane movement pretty impressive visuals if i do say so myself and that offers you know a ton of stuff for free in an easy to engage with package which is <laughs> Amazingly enough, nowadays, not that common. We've had a handful of games that cost 70 bucks and are just filled to the brim with, with bugs and bloat and all this garbage. And then we get something like this that just comes in and does something really lean, fun, and different for free. And that's it's just really refreshing, I'll tell you what. It's really, really refreshing. And I got to hand it to them. I think this is... Uh, well worth your time if you find this kind of like fast paced movement twitchy gameplay intriguing this is going to be one that i think you'll really really enjoy again if this is interesting to you check it out at the link in the description box below or in the pinned comment use my promo code because it'll give you all sorts of perks as you play through this free expansion and again pretty much no matter what you're playing on the game's available. It's on the Switch, it's on PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, PC, it's everywhere. Let's just say there's a reason that this game has lasted a decade, basically, that it's won many, many awards, and that it is a staple of multiplayer cooperative looter shooters. It is an icon, really, at this point, and I can see why after playing it again for this video. So thank you to the devs for allowing me to do this and empowering me to do this. And I gotta be honest, I was like kind of bracing to go into this and be like, oh, well, it's pretty good, but it's got all these other problems. But really, it's just Warframe at its best with a really cool roguelike mechanic twist on it, which makes the game much more approachable to new players who can just try out a bunch of stuff, find what they like and what they don't like. If this seems like fun, give it a try with the link down in the description box below. And make sure to join our Discord so that we can play together, chat together, hang together. It's a great place. But with that, I'm going to go grill up some Mahi Mahi because I was having so much fun playing this that I forgot to eat lunch. So I'm, I'm a hungry boy. Until next time.
Much love. Hugs and kisses. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.